<laughs> well, we're, those, seriously, those scary movies are especially fun when they're brought to us by the Fright Night picture hosts. And probably the best known today is a woman who's on uh, TV here in the West particularly, in other areas too. She's the mistress of the dark, Elvira. And here's how she opens her show each week. to be a lesson to all of us. Anyway, she's, uh, she's come in to scare us all to death in person, I've just been told. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvira. Just send your postcards to this side of the screen, ladies and gentlemen, right in there. Anyway, Elvira, it's great seeing you. <laughs> Little did I realize what that would mean. Um, I understand that during the tapings of your, your shows, which we just saw a little bit of there, you have had some embarrassing moments. In fact, some that were really scary. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Steve, when you do a show like mine and you don't have a big budget to spend, it's a one-take situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, sometimes when you don't get it right the first time, it is not only embarrassing, but it hurt. I am telling you, if I was them, I would be thinking twice about jumping right back in that Volvo of theirs and making sure... Oh! <laughs> when, when I do my show, I try to create the right mood for my viewers, of course. Mm -hmm. I like to come across kind of sexy, mm -hmm. sinister, and above all, poised. Well, hello, darling. Yes, it's Movie Macabre, and I'm that gal with the shape that drives men ape. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Welcome back to good old... <laughs> Now, Steve, I know you may not believe this, but this is not my real hair. All right. It's my real hair, ladies. But on my show, I always try to look my best and make sure it looks natural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can just see the headlines now. Woman killed in bathtub by a deranged rubber ducky. Oh, she went out to Ah! <laughs> Well, Steve, I've had my share of embarrassing moments, I guess, yes. but none was more disgusting than the one you're about to see. Now, I was introducing this horrible horror movie where a giant leech falls from the top of this building, see? A little yickety creature. Yeah. Of some kind, yeah. And luckily, it lands on a woman's umbrella. Mm -hmm. So we had a little fun reenacting the scene with a piece of liver. Uh, by the way, this is not for the screamish. <laughs> Boy, I am telling you, that leech looked like a big old liver to me. It just looked like a big old liver. Wait a second, darling. I, I think it's going to rain. I better get under my umbrella. <laughs> Very many people in the movies have ever scared us as much over the years as Vincent Price. Yet even this master of menace has been himself vulnerable to embarrassing moments. In the presence of that great cause to which we watch the, the medallion day, around Vincent's neck. Our allegiance. I, a humble butcher, was chosen to lead us and have faithfully discharged. <laughs> Sand, a mere speck in the cosmos, and you dare to venture an opinion regarding that great design of our master, Diablis Supremus, to think that I, the... <laughs> Well, Count Zapula is a creature of the night in Traverse City, Michigan. Count Zapula? Zapula, All right. right. And his late night horror show is done on a shoestring budget. And I should know, just like mine. <laughs> that is true. The set of the show you're about to see consists literally of just a casket in front of a cheap curtain which hides what is really the newsroom. It's the news and weather set. <laughs> and uh, on this particular night, Count Zapula, well, he'll never forget what happened. Good evening. <laughs> I'm Count Zapula. <laughs> Who did you expect? 
be pleasurable. When my good friend Chauncey is back with us, here's my friend Chauncey. <laughs> oh, Chauncey, how nice to have you back again. <laughs> Even Chauncey can laugh. <laughs> Do it again. Yes, Chauncey, it's been so good. I've missed you for so long. People wonder where you were. You were at the Hocus Pocus shop. That's the new lobby store downtown Java City where they have all kinds of masks and costumes. They're going to be new sponsors of ours. Well, you get over there, Chauncey. Somebody sent us a gift. I don't know what's in it. Let's take a look. Well, Elvira, thank you so much for joining us tonight, and we'll be looking for your show around the country. Elvira, Mr. Sipanak, watch your show. Elvira.